Okay, this is Lost Ork, uh, episode 33. Uh, stream that keeps crashing, so. Yeah. <coughs> Let's see how this. The Lumberjacks have sent you too. You were wondering if I've been attacked by the Owlbears. No, I haven't even seen them yet. I slipped and fell. Ugh, my back. I haven't found anything peculiar around here. I wonder where the Lumberjacks went. Here are some notes I took before my back accident. Please look around the camp uh, for more clues as to their whereabouts. Greeting an owlbear. Haha, <laughs> that's interesting. You're certainly a strange person, but I like it. You can even find humor in this situation. Uh, I'm being serious. Let's assume what you say is true. Why would such nice owlbears attack the lumberjacks? Doesn't add up, but still, that was a fun joke. But your story was still interesting. I think it will make, it will make for a great drinking tale. So shall we get back to work? I'll deliver the current investigation report to Johan and join back with him. I think we should head deeper into the camp this time. Please investigate the interior of the logging camp. When we next meet, I hope we will enjoy a more productive conversation. Excuse me, I was speaking in the wrong language. I've been living with owlbears for so long that speaking their language is more natural to me than speaking my own. I haven't talked to other people for a long time. Don't be shy. This owlbear next to me is totally harmless. Anyway, you say that the lumberjacks have disappeared. Well, I didn't know. There was no one when we got here. In fact, that's why we decided to stay for a while. It seems we've caused some commotion, though. We didn't mean to. I guess I'll coax the owlbear herd to go back to the forest soon. I don't want my lovely owlbears to hurt their angry lumberjack. As you can see, these guys don't attack people, but the lumberjacks just see monsters. If they swing their axe first, my owlbear will maul them to death. It doesn't sound <coughs> like the lumberjacks are going in. I guess the only option is to figure out how to make the owlbears leave. Alright, I can use the stink trees. There's a pile of stink tree wood around here. Owlbears hate its smell. Destroy any piles of stink tree wood you can find. The owlbear will run f as far away as they can from its smell.
Hmm, this is not good. They clearly hate the sting trees now, but they still won't budge. I hope you're not thinking of forcing the owlbears to move. I don't suggest that method for your own sake. Let's try using a subtler method. They come to this place because they couldn't find anything to eat. Thus, feeding them should make them lumber on back to the forest. It appears the area around here is abundant with food. There are plenty of tree fruits, which is unusual for Shushire. And there's even food left behind for by the lumberjacks as well. Good, you brought them. Now give this food to the storming owlbear. They won't be able to resist. Once they had some sleep, they will surely return to the forest. They will leave now after having a good night's sleep. By the way, the owlbear next to me says it has something to tell you. However, it's not one of the owlbears I brought with me. Curious, I think it's the owlbear that the lumberjacks kept here. Ah, self scratching his body. Something drops from his fur. To whomever finds this message, the spiders from the cave are taking people away. Sefi and I hid in the barn. The sound of spiders crawling all over the walls is getting louder. Even they wouldn't dare to try to hurt this owlbear. I'm leaving this note with him. If you find this note, please come to the ice cave and save, uh, save us. Sullivan may be interested in this development. So this is why they've been whining at me so much. I don't know if it's breeding season for the spiders, but the numbers have started increasing recently. Owlbears are scared of spiders. This explains why they wanted to come to this camp, to hide from the spiders. Without lumberjacks who wrote this is still alive. But this note can help us resolve the animosity between us and the other lumberjacks. Could you deliver this note to them? Hey, that looks like Sefi's handwriting. What? God's damn those spiders. Reclaiming camp has to wait. I need help from excellent hunters like you. You're good at what you do, so I'll make this worth your while. We need to save my friends from the Spider Queen's lair.
Thanks to you, many of my colleagues have returned safely from Spider Queen's lair. So have I. I know Sephi did it to protect us from the spiders, but Solomon is going to leave soon. But he promised he'd pay us a visit with his owlbears every now and again, and Sephi would love to play with his friends sometime. Thank you so much. I would never have seen my friends again if it weren't for you. I've been waiting for you. You call it red, right? Everyone's waiting for you. Come on, let's go in. The day has finally come. They finally got Fred, huh? I never thought this day would come. I can't wait to watch you die. So, you think you can cross me and get away with it? I call to you, O oh Lord of Decay, Master Akan! Who dares to summon me? Your eternally loyal servant! You still want that Ark, right? You're gonna need me! You think I need you? I am a demon commander and you are an insect. Besides, I already discovered the location of the Master, Ark. Master! No! No, please! No! <laughs> I can't believe he's really dead. He got what he deserved. Was that a demon? Where did it go? Selling his soul to a demon. Rotten to the end. What happened to Shushire? I just sensed a tremendous amount of energy in the air. I don't think this is over. Let's head back to Rajan's village. My mom is very sick. Give Thank you so else. much. We owe you. The Daybreakers will be forever grateful. I haven't seen the people looking so happy for a long time. There's one thing still bothering me though. The demons that Rad served was overwhelmingly powerful. I've never seen anything so strong before. But this isn't something we should discuss on such a joyous day. Please join us for the celebration. You have brought freedom to Shushai once more. 
We'll take it from here. We wouldn't have defeated Vrat without you. We still have a long way to go, but I feel that we've made a successful start on this journey. This was among the documents that were found in his manor. Care to take a look? Given that he tried to burn this document even while cornered, it must be quite important. But now that he is, uh, mound, is a mound of ash, we can't exactly ask him why it seems so important. It must have something to do with the demon Rad called the Master. I'd better look deeper into this. Daybreakers from other areas are gathering in the village. Could you learn more about the places they hail from? Now that Vrat is gone, we're so what free. killed Vrat. Hey, you taught those watchdogs of Vrat's a lesson. Thanks to you, we were able to safely investigate his hideout. It was as full as uh, many. It was as full of as many horrors as you would expect. I hope I never see such things again. I can't fathom how many pe how many more people Vrat would have sacrificed if we had been left alive. I know I don't usually express gratitude, but I'll make an exception for you, Eric. Thank you. That adventurer defeated Brad, right? Uh, so dashing. Madnik called for it. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm friends with the hero of Shushire. Remember the battle at the Brew Branch? We were back to back fighting the robbers. D don't you remember? Um, anyway, I've felt since then that this adventure would save Shushire with us daybreakers one day. Thanks to you, Eric, the Frozen Sea finally knows peace. Well, except for the few places that still have pockets of corruption. But that isn't the real problem. It's that powerful demon Rad, sir. I heard he vanished after turning Rad into dust. Do you think he really left Shushire? Ha! Ah, that's the adventurer Dad told me about! I'm gonna grow up as strong as you, adventurer. So? That adventurer defeated Brad. Look, do you see? You've brightened up the entire village. I haven't seen Shushire like this for a long time. We've been discovering nasty traces of corruption in the Red Curtain Arena. Something doesn't add up. However, some prisoners are still missing. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll look further into it. Do you know someone? So, it was true that way. I'm gonna grow up as strong. Things will turn around. Here, over here! Everyone's talking about you! Did you really save all those hostages? Was, was there anyone named Liliana? That's my mother's name. The people who were taken away are slowly returning, so I'm sure mother will be back soon too. Alright, I saw Mr. Madnick going somewhere in a hurry. Do you think something happened? We were fooled. 
Brad was just a pawn. The map I showed you before proved that Brad sold prisoners to demons. It points towards Ice Blood Plateau. Those monsters want the same thing as the flame demons that set Shushire ablaze in the past. They want their holy relics at Frost Peak Temple. That greedy Rad was the perfect tool for them. As soon as Madnik learned the truth, he headed out to the plateau with the other daybreakers. But he can't fight. He hasn't recovered from the battle at the arena. Could you go help that stubborn mule and the other daybreakers who headed to Ice Blood Plateau? Be careful. Have you seen the posters plastered all over town? They promise fabulous riches, but don't explain how those riches come to be. I fear there's something shady going on here, so I've been tearing them down before they can hurt any impressionable young folks. But for every poster I remove, two more takes his place. I won't give up though, would you help me? Hopefully that will slow them down for a while. Thank you. Thank you so much. Longest quest ever. I thought Jonia was the only one I should send back. No, 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 civilians not allowed past this point. I think I've seen you before. Or you, or you, the arena hero, you're the frost warrior, the one chosen by Sirius. Please forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. I'm not surprised Jonia is concerned. I've never met someone who worries as much as him. He's terribly annoying about it. I'll follow you after I send him back. Head to Ice Blood Plateau. You can learn more about the situation there. When are you gonna call? Emergency! Emergency! Madnik can't even hold a sword right now. I should have kept a closer eye on him. Could you bring this medicine to Madnik? Remind him to not overstrain himself, please. I don't want to lose any more time. To help us? Well, you certainly look tough, but you're just one person. I don't know much about the situation here. I just came here to take care of the wounded, but they're injured, they're worrisome. I'll take care of them, you go to the camp. You can ask people about the situation here along the way. It's you. Madnik is at the Grey Moon camp. Play <laughs> demons are assaulting us. We were also stranded because of them. Mandek. <sighs> Sirius hasn't forsaken us. You were a warrior of Frost, Rerik. Mandek told me that you'd come to Shushire. In the time since you followed the path of light, the chapter built the Fro Ward of Frost to stop the demons. But that didn't go well. As you can see, countless Grey Moons have left to join Sirius. The situation here is better than elsewhere. Uh, the situation here is better than elsewhere. The northern camp is completely cut off by the plague demons. We can take care of ourselves. Please go support the northern camp. We don't have enough to shoot. Mm. Thank you. Javern ended up asking you for help. What's this medicine? Jonaya sent it, I see. I made a lot of people worry, didn't I? Okay, I'll thank Jonaya in person later. As you know, the Daybreakers came here to help the Greymoons. But as it turns out, we must rely on you once more. 
I'm sorry, but please, you must help us protect Chuchai. Don't be so fussy, rookie. You knucklehead. Stop treating me like a wimp. A couple of broken bones isn't going to kill me. I'm glad the others have passed through those cursed ice shards. Okay, ugh, oh, I'm okay. Go support Nordingham. It's where you should be. Constructs don't usually act like this. I suspect they're responding to the demon's energy. Hmm, the battle isn't good. We won't be able to secure a supply route if this continues. Could you make a path through the constructs? I'll take uh, I'll take Trevis to the encampment and join you later. You should collect the ice fragments you find from the constructs. They'll help you fight the demon. I'll join you soon. Just don't Actually, it it's not difficult for our supply carriers to pass through the throngs of ice constructs. Wolves are much faster than those heavy constructs. The real problem is further down the road. The ice shards sticking out here and there in the ground often trip our dog sleds, smashing the sleds to pieces. And one can seriously hurt if falling from a moving dog sled. And uh, if there are ice constructs nearby, I don't want to imagine what might happen afterwards. Please move those protruding ice shards along the path to minimize unnecessary sacrifices. I have a feeling that this battle will drag on for quite a while. I'll join you soon. Thanks for being here. Uh, we've been stranded. Now that the ward is broken, those plague demons just keep pouring out of the dimensional gate. We'll hold them off. Could you go help the others who left to transport the holy water? Don't die. Thank you. The path is much smoother now. This will help us secure a supply route. Plague demons keep pouring out of that accursed dimensional rift. It's only a matter of time before the entire Ice Blood Plateau is covered by diseased tumors. 
if you're going to Frost Peak, Frost Peak Temple, do you think you could also mend that? Please let Boyan at their Grey Moon Fortress know when it's done. Us. Nobody survived. I'm okay, at least. I'll live. But could you complete my final mission in my stead? Please deliver this uh, holy water to the North Fort. And remember, I'll be counting on Recognized you even from a distance. Nice to see you again, Frost Warrior. Minasin couldn't come because. Oh no. Our situation is hopeless. The people who were killed by plague demons have reanimated and are attacking the living. It's only a matter of time before the sanctum falls. But the holy water you brought can put them back to sleep forever. Riri, could you please destroy the undead? I thought it seemed like the number of plague demons coming from behind us had decreased. That was because of you. Now we can focus on those in front of us. Thank you for your help. The plague demons are using Highland reindeer to transport the prisoners. I don't know why they need to transport them, but they usually just kill them on the spot. I can only assume that whatever they're doing requires living creatures. By destroying their deer-drawn carriages, we can slow them down. But everyone who knows how to use a weapon is already out somewhere, fighting. Riri, please destroy those prisoner carriages. prevented many sacrifices today. You also freed the reindeer. The demons were working to death. Your help is appreciated. May Sirius bless you. The Plague Legion broke the ward as if it was nothing and continued its way toward the Frost Peak Temple. How did the Plague Demons break the ward? I thought only those who were blessed by Sirius could even pass. I need pure ice to repair the ward, but the only ice I've found around here is contaminated by the Plague Demons. Wait, is that stuff in your hands? Const construct ice. Thanks, Sirius. Could you use that ice and repair the wood? Oh, they're working again. The barrier was repaired. Oh, thank the gods. You're on your way to Frost Peak Temple, too, aren't you? There are more broken barrier stones along the way. Please fix them. They'll buy us more time. How? How did the demons break the barrier? 
Eric, can you believe there are people who are held prisoner by the play demons? I saw them with my own eyes. The first thing the demons did when they arrived here was lock their prisoners in cages. And it looks, and it looked as uh, if they were being commanded by someone. But I've never heard of, of demons intel intelligent enough to follow orders. The sound of their prisoners screaming in fear is echoing in this plateau, even as we speak. Rear, please set them free. barrier is weakening. How did those teams weaken the barrier? didn't think I'd see you here. Thanks to you, no more demons will be able to enter Frost Peak Temple. But a large number of demons are already inside the sanctum. What they want is a serious saladon. It will keep the other demons at bay. Adventure, please go eliminate the plague demons that are headed for Frost Peak Temple. You bring us hope. We must protect Frost Peak Temple. <sighs> I can't take it anymore. Okay, that's gonna be it for now. I need to go uh, to the store and buy some food, but uh, I'll be back in a bit. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in a bit.